Hey, how you doing? This is Mr. Clifford with ACDC Econ, Key Economic Concepts in 90 Seconds. We're talking about oligopolies, right? We're talking about game theory. Go take a look. Your teacher showed you something like this with the prisoner's dilemma. Now we're applying the same concept but with profit. So before we start the clock, take a look. Here's what you're looking at. Here's two competing firms, ACDC Taxi and Clifford Taxi, right? And there's two firms in the market, therefore it's an oligopoly. They gotta worry about the pricing of the other guy, right? Mutually interdependent. Good. Clifford Taxi has two things they can do. Maintain their price or lower their price. ACDC, same thing. Maintain price and lower the price. These numbers in here tell them how much their profit they're going to make right, based on what the other guy is going to do. In this situation, the numbers on the left are Clifford Taxis. The numbers on the right are ACDC Taxi. Okay, if that makes sense to you, let's go ahead and start this up. We've got three questions. What's ACDC's dominant strategy? What's Clifford's dominant strategy? And what will they do? If they have this information, what are they going to decide to do? Again, by the way, a dominant strategy is the thing they're going to do regardless of what the other person does. Okay, let's start this off in 90 seconds. Here we go. A lot of students have a hard time with this. I'm going to give you a trick. Here's the trick. What I want you to do is I want you to put a box around Clifford Taxi, which is the ones on the left-hand side. So if you put a box around these, this is going to help you remember that if you're looking for Clifford Taxi, you're looking at the box numbers. The numbers that don't have the box are obviously ACDC Taxi. Let's go to these questions. Good. What is ACDC's dominant strategy? Well, ACDC is the ones here, the ones on the right. Which one should they do regardless of what Clifford Taxi does? Let's find out. Take a look. If um, Clifford Taxi decides to maintain, what should ACDC Taxi do? Should they maintain and get 150 or should they get 110? Well, they should definitely go for 150. No doubt about it, that makes sense to me. Good, and how about if in this situation Clifford Taxi decides to lower, which one should ACDC do? Should they maintain and get 120 or should they lower and get 100? Well, 120 is better right here. They should lower. Now, in both cases, whether Clifford goes maintains or lowers, they should definitely, ACDC should maintain. This is their dominant strategy. That ACDC's dominant strategy is to maintain. Done. Now, let's move on. What's Clifford's dominant strategy? Okay, let's find out that one. Well, if ACDC decides to maintain, which one's better? Now, we're looking at the red squares. 140 or 130. All right? 140 is better. So this is the one that they should do, the red, the red star. How about if ACDC lowers, right? If, if they lower their price, which one's better? Should they maintain, get 120, or should they lower and get 150? Ah, they should get 150. In this situation, Clifford Taxi does not have one. There is no dominant strategy for Clifford Taxi. The next question is, well, what were they going to do? Well, take a look. If you're Clifford Taxi, you don't have a dominant strategy, but you know exactly why it, what ACDC is going to do. You know they're going to maintain. They have no incentive to go lower. So if they're going to maintain, no doubt about it, the question is, would you rather take 140 and maintain, or would you rather go lower and get 130? Would you rather go 140? So the scenario is going to end up right here, right? Clifford's going to maintain, ACDC is going to maintain, and we're going to end up right there. That's a concept. 90 seconds. Till next time.